I'm going to show you how to make a falconry lure specifically for a kestrel. This is what I use. I make a, a little bat um, shape always. You can do any kind of wings, but I thought it was kind of neat to do it like this. Basically, I use a right-handed glove um, to cut out the bat shape. I have a grommet I set in the middle with a loop on one side. And the loop, I basically take a, here this is just an example, this is a quail wing. Um, the loop goes around part of the wing, like that. And then on this side I have a cord lock, and I pull it tight, and then I lock it down. Okay, so that wing is going to be attached to the lure, basically. So you can see right there when I'm swinging that around, the bird can see there's feathers on there, kind of looks like a tail or something, you know, it's definitely a, a, a nice lure look to it. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Um, it's really easy. I, I have this um, picture of a bat that I just found online and I printed it out to give me a rough idea. Um, it's just approximately uh, six and a half inches. And basically I just find how I'm going to do it. Uh, right there you could probably get two out of it. Usually the hand, um, the palm of the hand is a little thicker leather so I might do that. Um, but I just basically trace this and cut it out of this leather of, of a right handed glove because falconers always have extra right handed gloves. So this is a good way to use that right handed glove. You just cut out um, the lure and I'm going to do it in a second. Now instead of this right handed glove just for this demo, I'm going to use this yellow leather. It's, <laughs> it's a yellow cow leather but it's been dyed and texturized to look like a reptile kind of. It's got like a, a snake kind of skin. I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to try something different. I'm not really into leather working but I thought it'd be kind of fun. And I'm just going to trace this bat shape and you know it really doesn't have to be close to this. Um, this is just an approximation and something really quick. Um, you know, you do change them out, so I don't spend a lot of time making these. So I trace this bat pattern, okay, and then I'm just going to cut it out. You can over exaggerate any part that you want, and you know, you can have a little fun with it. But really, you know, the bird, once the bird recognizes it as the lure, it's really not going to matter too much what it looks like. You could have any shape you want. There's our, the beginning of our bat shape, okay. You need a certain amount of weight in order to swing the lure around. You, you don't want it too heavy. You want to keep it light. While you are swinging the lure, if you accidentally hit the bird, you want the lure to be as light as possible. So you don't want a really heavy lure. Um, having a whole bird on the end of the string, some people do that. That, that works because you're showing the, them the bird. The bird that you're actually going to be hunting with is the lure. But for actual lure flying and not entering them on a certain prey, um, it's good to have a really light lure. You want to keep the lure light, um, but not too light, or else you're going to have trouble whipping it around. Okay, throw it, you know, uh, getting nice good circles with it. Uh, so what I do is I want to add a little weight and make a nice little body. What I do is I actually I'll take one of the fingers from the glove, okay, and use that as the body. Um, and it kind of looks like a body. You could, if you wanted extra weight, you could probably put some extra leather inside. One of these fingers from a glove is pretty much a perfect weight. So then what I'm going to do is just figure out how I want to place this, like this, and kind of cut out any extra leather there. I have the finger of the glove. I put this cutout on there, figure out kind of where I want it. And I just hold it there and I have these, this is a leather punch. Um, this is really good if you want to make your own jesses. This comes in really handy. And basically, I just I punch it right in the middle. But you want a nice clean hole to put the, the grommet into. We're going to seal this with a grommet. Uh, these are some grommets. These are the size zero, zero grommets. I punch the hole and I put this grommet on there and now I'm going to seal the grommet with these grommet pliers. So these grommet pliers just go on the grommet and then you 
close it and that's it it's it's nice and sealed so I have a piece of parachute cord here it's about 10 inches long and then once I cut it I burn the edges so they don't get all frayed um, it makes it a lot easier to, to work with. I'm going to put these through on this side. Okay, so now I have a loop on the bottom, okay, and then on the top I have these two ends coming off. Okay, now on the top I'm just going to use this cord lock. I'm going to push the two ends through the cord lock. We have this loop right here and we put the we can put a wing inside the loop or leg some kind of nice tidbit for it and then pull it tight and lock it down. We're really close we're almost done. We have our locking mechanism now what we need is just one more grommet to put in um, for the cord what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one more grommet right at the end. And then I'm going to put a grommet there. So I use my grommet pliers again to really seal that grommet. So I'm just going to make a bat pattern on this. You really don't have to. I don't think um, the bird is going to notice much. All right, so there's our basic bat. So I have this pipe with about seven feet of parachute cord on the end. Uh, and on the end of it, I have a large fishing swivel on the end um, that really lets it spin around. So I'm gonna just, I'll just switch it over to this new one so you can see. I have noticed um, that when you do change a lure for the first couple days, the bird is a little bit hesitant of it. And so it, it might take you a couple days for it to really sink in and get wed to the lure. But um, there we go. That's pretty much it. Um, we have our seven foot of parachute cord. We have this um, body um, that you can easily tie a wing to and a cord lock on it. And um, it doesn't have to be too fancy, but you can be fancy if you'd like. <laughs> Um, and I'll just show you, I'm going to put this, this quail wing on the end of it, just so you can see what it kind of looks like. With, so I put the wing in the loop, okay, right in the middle, so it's nice and um, caught in there. And then I just pull it tight on this side. You might get some feathers coming through. But you want to pull it tight and then lock it down. Just lock it down. And so that's secured on there. There's some nice meat right there, some tidbits for the bird. There we go. So you can see, whipping this around. That's, that's a, a pretty cool looking lure. So here we have the old lure, okay? Um, the new lure that we just made, this is just a funky thing that I was playing with. Um, you know, you can make any design um, with this. You wanna just keep it simple because it's gonna get covered in blood and any all kinds of liquids. So um, just make it quick. The bat lure is a pretty fun and easy pattern to make. Um, and I really like the way that these lock down with these cord locks.